Hi everyone, this is Gerald from Merch Studio and today we're going to have a short tutorial on how to create your own gang sheet in the Merch Studio website. This is the website and there are actually two ways that you can order. First one is if you already have a gang sheet and you click on this right here and you just upload your gang sheet together with the information, you know, shipping information and all that stuff and then you can just pay straight from here. That's one way to do it. Another way that you can do it is I'm going to go back to the home page and we have a tab called create so this is our gang sheet creator and as you can see here we have three sizes of gang sheets you have the 12 by 22 which is eight bucks you have the 22 by 36 which is 24 bucks and we have the 22 by 60 which is 40 bucks now these are your retail prices and we do have bulk discounts so check them out but for today we are going to go with the 22 by 12 which is by the way this is a one foot long gang sheet this one's three feet this one's five feet so we're just gonna go with a 22 by 12 and when you click it, it's gonna take you to this page where you're gonna see the price and the discounts right here. And you're also gonna see this little box here that says color. So it says the color of the gang sheet is ash, but don't worry about that. That's just the color of the background. When we print your gang sheets, it's not gonna have that color. So I'm gonna click on start designing and I'm gonna add a design. So if you already have images that you created or that you bought from Etsy, you can uh, click on upload image. And let's say if I go with catalog number six here, which is, this is a JPEG, it's gonna ask me if I own the rights to the image, I'm gonna click yes because I bought it. And there you go. So this one is a JPEG. So as you can see, there is a white background. And one more thing that you're gonna uh, have to look at is on the upper left corner here, where it says quality. If it's at red, that means that it's not gonna print out well. So one thing that we can do with this is size it down to the best quality print for its uh, resolution. So we can do it that way, but we don't really want to do that. So make sure that uh, you have uh, good quality images and don't use JPEG. If you have uh, SVGs, if you have you know vector PDF, those are the ideal Im uh, image types or file types. Now for this one, it has a white background. If I click on remove background it will remove some of the background in this case but not all of it because you know my jpeg has different shades of white and so it's not able to remove all of that i'm just not going to remove that I'm, just, I'm going to keep it there if i wanted to uh, buy this as is notice how again we have that quality warning and then you also have that triangle with the exclamation point meaning uh that's an indication that there's something wrong with your image and it's also going to say when you click on the cart it's going to say below quality quality images listed. It's going to tell you pretty much, you know, you need better quality images. So if you uh, decide to proceed with that image, it's going to take you to the cart. And I already actually have a couple of things in the cart, but uh, you know, I'm just going to check out and you just go through the whole checkout process. Uh, you can pay through PayPal or you can just check out using your credit card. All right, so here's an uh, extra feature that we just added actually in 2023. So just a couple of days ago, if I go in my gang sheet creator and I add a design, I have this option to look at stock images. We don't have that many stock images right now. Like for example, in sports, you see these are all very retro designs. Some of them are pretty usable. I think not the best ones yet, but they're pretty usable. We're uh, still putting together some of these uh, designs as I'm creating this video. But what I want you to look at is since it's almost February, you know, we added vector Valentine's Day designs. I'm going to close this and I'm just going to go with the cute Valentine designs right here. And this is what they look like. So we have two pages of that. We also have Valentine gnome designs that are pretty cute. And then we have some Valentine text designs. Now these are vector designs and the text are actually outlined. So we're not gonna be able to edit this, but as you will see later on, uh, there's a way for you to create your own text designs here. But anyways, we're gonna go choose one of the cute designs here. We're gonna go with the teddy bear and click that. Now, you know what? Let's go with this one. Let's go with that because it's a very popular design. So I just uploaded that here and notice how even if it's small or big, if you look at the left side here, the quality doesn't change. That is the advantage of using uh, vector graphics. So apart from that, you can also see on the left side here, there's different colors. If I click on this one and I change it to say a darker shade, see how everything that used to be that color changes color with that. 
So these are these vector files are editable and you can make them any color that you want. And if you say if you wanted to do copy uh, two copies of that, I would suggest, you know, it's 13 wide by 11 long. I would edit that and just change it to 10.75 so that we can fit two in here. And then I'm going to click on the image again, click on copy, copy selected, paste. And now you're able to fit two. In fact, you can flip it around 180 degrees just so you can have more space in between them like so. And another great thing about this is even though it's a copy, you can change the colors on just this one image. So if you have clients that want different color designs, you can customize your designs for them. Okay, and so now once you're done, oh, this one also has a warning and it says here you have placed the image partially outside the decoration area and it will be cropped. So that bottom part there that's outside of the yellow border, that's gonna be cropped out. So I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit and that warning's gonna go away. So now if I click on buy, notice how the triangle warning's not there anymore. Uh, I can check out and just see if I want 10 copies of that or whatever I can do that and it's going to auto adjust everything and then just continue with your checkout process another great thing about this is let's say I wanted to create my own designs and like I said we're gonna have more stock images here in a couple of weeks but right now we're just gonna go with your Valentine's Day designs let's say I wanted to do something fancy with hearts I kind of like this design so I'm gonna go with that I'm gonna put that there and again, notice how the quality doesn't change is because it's a vector image. I wanna make sure that it's centered. And if I click on add text here, I can add say happy. And right now the, the text is not really matching the design. So I can change the font type. I've got a whole bunch of different fonts there. You have serif, sans serif. You have all these fancy ones. I think that's what you wanna use. There are some retro ones here. You just have to be patient. I like old school text. So we're going to go with something here. There. And I'm going to change that color to something a little bit more muted. And another great thing is I can add an outline. Like so. I just change the color of the outline. Put it on there. I kind of don't like the font type. So I'm going to change it to. And then I can copy that and then paste it and then edit it to say Valentine's. Okay, doesn't have an apostrophe. So some of these uh, fonts are kind of missing some elements. Or maybe use this, how's that? Oh, that looks better. Happy Valentine's. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. And then again, copy paste it and then change it here in the box. I'm gonna change it to day and then Move it there. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the whole design because right now it's about 22, maybe 20 inches wide. We're just going to go up here and click on select all and then group them all together. Then I'm going to change the size to 11 wide. Of course, if you buy more gang sheets, then that lowers the cost of shipping per gang sheet. And once I'm ready with this, I can just bring it to the cart and start the design. So yeah, that's the Gang Sheet Designer on the Merch Studio website. If you have any questions, you can email one of our coaches. We have Coach Matt, uh, Coach Hans, and Coach Lewis or Coach LJ. You can email one of them and they will be very happy to help you out and make sure that uh, you're able to navigate this uh, Gang Sheet Creator. Again, this is Gerald. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today and I hope to see your designs. Let's make t-shirts.